All right, hey, good morning. Um, we're over here in eastern Washington. We have a Pacific yurt, and uh, this is a yurt that we installed about three years ago. And my wife and I have dreamt about this particular uh, structure, type of structure. This is a Pacific yurt, a yurt that we purchased down in Cottage Grove, Oregon. We find this particular type of structure very low impact. Pacific Yurts is one of those companies that's probably one of the more sustainable uh, dwelling manufacturers that you're going to find. And that's what we're looking for is a, a great low impact structure. One of the things though that I um, uh, have learned is that these tops, now you can see this top has been cleaned. This It's a heavy duty vinyl top, very great material, very durable. But they do get dirty. Those vinyl tops do get dirty. And uh, so I searched the YouTube trying to find some tips on how to best clean it. Pacific Gears does provide you with a manual and some advice on cleaning, but I'm kind of a visual person and I like to see, okay, well, what do they mean by this? What, what does this look like? And so I was gonna share some tips with you today. So follow me. One of the things I wanted to do is, is just show you some of the uh, the simple material that we need to clean this is a 30 foot yurt by the way a pretty good sized yurt um, and I want to show you the problem here Daniel you want to shoot the top of the of the yurt you can see that uh, where it's been cleaned and then also where it's dirty pretty dirty from dust and from pine pollen uh, this has been accumulated over the last about two and a half years. So what I've got here, some simple equipment. First of all, we have a, a hose with a, a good little uh, nozzle for spraying the top. I have a bucket here from Home Depot. Uh, it's filled with a solution of warm water and also uh, Dawn soap. And one of the things I found is that it helps to have warm water, but it doesn't have to be warm. If you don't have a source of warm water, that's okay because um, it, it will work with cold water as well. Of course, we have a ladder. This is a seven-foot ladder to help us get up, uh, the, the, uh, up on top. And so it's a pretty simple process. So I'm going to let Daniel take over and just show you how this works, okay? Okay, the first thing Dan's gonna do is he's just gonna spray the top with the water right up there all the way to the dome. Spray it down good, doesn't take a lot. Gonna set that aside. Then we'll take our trusty brush and actually start scrubbing. And you'll see pretty easily that that, that uh, dirt and grime comes off, comes off. And this works not only on the top uh, cover, but also on the side uh, walls as well. We notice that um, as we roll up the, the windows to the side panels, uh, dirt, grime, dust will accumulate behind that rolled up uh, window. And so this is a pretty good way. Now Dan's gonna just show you, you can see, I hope, just how easily that soot and grime comes off the top. So it's a pretty easy process. Doesn't take a whole lot of extra equipment. Of course, this brush is a very soft bristle brush. I should mention that when we first uh, tried to do this, it was with a, a, a very hard bristle. Uh, this bristle is, is really soft, and that's what you want. You want a real soft bristle brush. Otherwise, you're not going to have much success. So, go to the top. And uh, it's a pretty easy process. It took us probably an hour to do one half, and now we're working on the second half of the yurt. So, pr pretty easy process, and I hope this has been helpful. So. As you can tell, we're out here in Washington State, so we're big Seahawks fans. And Go we Hawks. want to say, Go Hawks, and enjoy your weekend.